It's new at five Henry County police are taking on a new role as students return to school next week. They'll be serving as school resource officers across the district after the sheriff's office had to pull out because of staffing issues. Yeah, a lot of challenges in the school systems. Let's get straight to Tracy Amy Pierce. She's live to explain this new process. Now, Tracy, the priority, as you know, is getting officers into Henry County high schools, right? That's right, and this is a big undertaking. Right now, the district has only half the number of SROs it needs. So the focus is on putting full-time officers into the high schools first, where there's the greatest need, all while ramping up the efforts in the other grades. That's, that's scary you hear the incidents that are going on across the US of A. This Henry County mom says any news of an SRO shortage makes her nervous about the coming school year. You want your kids to come and get an education, but you want them to feel safe while doing that. The sheriff's office recently ended its agreement to provide SROs for the school district. So now the police department is stepping in to help. The goal is to have one SRO per 1,000 students. That amounts to about 43 SROs stationed in the schools full time. But right now they only have the staffing to do about half that. So the plan is to have officers prioritize coverage in the 10 high schools and then have the middle schools covered by October. Meanwhile, they'll have other SROs float between other schools. If there was a situation where one of our middle schools or elementary school didn't have someone physically in the building, there's someone close enough by that they can take care of. Henry County Schools Communications Director J.D. Harden says as they work to increase SRO staffing, they're implementing other safety measures, like a new system of locked doors with cameras and buzzers that's being installed in all schools. Thank you. Just need to stop by the front office. Thank you. They've also hired 50 campus safety monitors in order to have one at each school. So the hall monitors are floaters. They're going to be walking all throughout our building at all times uh, to you know, be that extra set of eyes. They're also rolling out a tip line to report any safety concerns. Measures Michelle Simmons says she's glad are in place. As much safety as we can have for our children, the better. Now, Harden says the district's ultimate goal is to create their own Henry County Schools Police Department, but that could take a few years. All right, Tracy, thanks for the update. By the way, in recent uh, weeks, other Metro Atlanta schools have also updated their security measures to keep your children safe the school year. So we have asked school districts if they are planning to hire school resource officers for their campuses. So far, we've heard from Gwinnett County, Clayton County, Cobb County about adding more resource officers. Fulton County also approved $6 million for school safety, but has not clarified what that money is going to actually be used for.